Well guys, back on a uh, little adventure here. So um, being a bit absent, finishing off this year and this is the best time of the year. It's leading up to Christmas. The weather turns flat for weeks at a time. So bloody awesome. Got out in the ski today and haven't started it in over a year. Yeah, it must've been, oh, probably just less than a year, maybe 10 months or nine months. And just walked in, connect the little isolator I've got in the battery, which are absolutely awesome. I think Ambi make them and I've left it all nine months, just disconnected. Just connect the isolator, boom, started straight away. And now I'm out in the reef. How good's this? Just gonna have a flick around some of the bommies here on the isolated reef, but um, absolutely awesome out here. I've got my mask, I might just have a swim around, cool off. I'm so glad, I, my brother actually flew up from Victoria um, about a week or two ago, and we headed out pretty much on a three day fishing bender and I tried so hard to, to get him a, a good bit of fish but it was really hard with the neap tides. But um, we headed out, we did one day sort of bit of cray diving, we found one in uh, about three hours of diving which was hard work. And then a bit of fishing, got in some nannies, put in the esky, a couple bludger trevally that were hanging around, they were pretty fun to catch and a few different other trevally. One of the trevallies we had on, it was coming towards a boat and a barracuda just chomped the guts out of it and then was just hanging around it. Um, so you can have a look at that footage, but it was pretty crazy. They'll eat anything. So we got out one day wide. I took my brother-in-law and, and uh, my brother and we went out really, really wide in about that 60 to, to 500 meter depths. And we'll just troll and I rigged up a um, a scad, first time rigging up a, a scad as a marlin bait, or we had them for wahoo, so we put a um, a little treble in the rear, and we're hoping to get some wahoo or dollies. But man, it was uh, it was hard work, long day. We trolled probably five hours. The third day, we did a bit of diving, and I really wanted to get my brother in the water, and he he was doing heaps better than his last time up here, so. Um, Missed a few trout, and <laughs> I'll show you some of the footage, but he got a heap of coral. If, if coral was something you could take in the esky and eat, then it'd be perfect.
got a couple trout on the spear as well. I got some and uh, threw in the Mieski and he ended up going home with a couple bags of fish. So stoked that we could get some fish for him. But um, the water was pretty nice for those couple days. And now got the jobs done at home, mowed the lawn, came out again. I could just sit here. Minus probably the sun. If the sun went away, I could just sit here, swim. The water feels amazing. Wow. But I'll have a bit of a fish and, um, yeah, see how we go. See if we can't catch something on the surface. Maybe look for some trevally or cod or trout or who cares. Let's get to it, eh? Keep it really small. Go out towards them. I reckon they're feeding on small stuff, so they look pretty decent size for this anyway. Let's see. Straight in the middle. Oh! <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> what is that? Little. Oh, a little gar or something. Flats, Marlin. <laughs> Oi! Down. I just ran over an awesome bit of plate coral. I got no gun, no gloves to grab any craze, but I have to check under it and if if there is, I'll mark it and we'll come back. But I've got to put my mask on and have a look, so I'll have a quick look under. Awesome bit of plate coal. No craze though. Come on. Oh, that was good for a cool off. So glassy out here. Amazing. Look at that. How can you get sick of that? I'm right on top of the reef, it's glassy, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. I can just see every bit of fish movement, turtles, sharks, I'm, I'm blown away, it is epic. It's so mesmerizing. I haven't even thought about fishing for the last 10 minutes because I'm just blown away at cruising over the reef like this. Unbelievable. There's a glassy section up here, have a look. When it's a bit ripply, you can't see. As soon as it gets glassy, it's a little bit ripply. Glassy section. 
section here you watch it just so easy to see that's probably four or five meters deep maybe more maybe six Cod, massive cod, big flowery cod ran straight into that bommie there. Unbelievable! Look at this on top of the water. <laughs> I'm speechless, absolutely speechless. This is the coolest trip on top of the flats of a reef that I've ever done. And it's so easy to disappear. As soon as you get a bit of ripple, you can't even see straight in. As soon as the glass is off, you just look and straight at everything. Unreal. Oh, I'll keep cruising along. If I see a heap of bait or a heap of fish, I might have a flick, but I'm just gonna enjoy cruising over the top. Hopefully the sun doesn't bat burn me too bad, but. <laughs> Woo! Little stripey. Hey, come here, mate. Hey, cool little fish. How good's that? Little stripey. Cool. Holy. Big cooter. Whoa, that's a big cooter. How the hell am I gonna get the... Big barracuda on, battery went dead, of course, as it always does. <laughs> so the biggest task now is he's on my line, he's tired, I've gotta get the hooks out. I want that lure back, it's been doing well for me. Few hits, but haven't landed anything. So, Keep my fingers away from those teeth. Let's see if we can do that. All right. Let's get him back anyway. He's a good looking fish. Just wanna get him alongside the boat. Nearly. All right, here he is. Now, if I can just give him in gear, have a swim.
five fingers on each hand. Man, that was a mission. Put the ski in gear though. If it, I put the ski in gear and now I could tow him along the edge. I think that's the way to do it. Never done that before, so. And he swam off. <laughs> How's that? Massive cooter. As soon as the lure hit the water, pssst, grabbed it. And then he gave up the fight, so. <sighs> Made a bit of a mess of it. But, um wing it back out there looking for a trevally i had a few good hits from trout but they only hit it once they hit it and then that's it so um real shy anyway water's nice about four in the arvo a few more casts and then i'll mosey back in <sighs> fun well no luck on the surface fishing just then after that barracuda um a bit quiet had a couple hits changed to a bit of a popper and we're gonna head out tomorrow probably and maybe the next day do a bit of fishing or diving so I might tack all that footage onto here I'm gonna boost back in now should only take me about half an hour or so thanks for watching and uh, cheers I'll see you on the next one Oh. That's for Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking big.